you, you gotta you gotta sort of love uh, the Amos thing, you know. God, God, who am I? I'm just you know some farmer here. I'm nobody. I'm nobody. And God, you know, so gets the message to him: You are somebody. You are somebody. And I have a little job for you. A little message I'd like you to get out to the people. You know, and in, in short. That's us many times. Well, who am I? You know, I'm just nobody. I don't have a degree in theology or whatever. But God says, yeah, you still have a job, so to speak. You can spread my message. You can spread the, the good news of the gospel. You know, and every weekend, you know, we're, we're summoned here by the Lord to hear the word of God to be nourished by the sacrament. We, we know that. But then we're sent out. We're being sent out every week to go out into the world to bring healing and comfort and encouragement to the people that we're going to be interacting with for the days and week to come. I was reading um, an article the other day about by an author who um, was talking about some of the people, the characters, as she called them, that she met during the pandemic while she was walking around her neighborhood. She tells the story of a postal worker. His name is Archimedes. She said, I never met Archimedes. For obvious reasons, she was working, she wasn't home, he was delivering the mail. But here she was now walking the streets because she was home during the pandemic. And so she got to know him. And they talked every day. And she said, they talked for days and weeks. And Archimedes never could remember her name. But that's okay. They still talked. And then she tells the story of, of Kenny. Kenny is a superintendent of a nearby building where she lives. And he said, she said uh, he was a lovely man with a beautiful spirit. He knew everything that was going on in the neighborhood. And he was, would not hesitate to tell you how he felt about any given issue. And then she said, along her walks during the pandemic, she met a, a person by the name of Elijah who lived in the building next door to her. She said, Elijah came from a different world in which she was living. She said, Elijah was a survivor of abandonment, addiction, divorce, incarceration, and arrhythmia that could kill him at any time. And then she talked about the most unexpected rapport that this author developed during the pandemic. It was a rapport with this very interesting young woman who lived in her house. The author already knew her a bit. She gave birth to her two decades before. The moody, sullen teenager had moved away to college. But then came the pandemic and she moved back to home. But she said, the child that moved back, the child that was perpetually indignant about something, said the author, usually me, the one that moved out was different than the one who moved back. She said, this new individual who moved back was reasonable and charming. 
She was a wonderful woman. And she said, astonishingly, sometimes she even laughed at her mother's jokes, said the author. The author summed it up all by saying, the weird thing about the people I met during the pandemic was this. They'd been there the whole time. The whole time. You know, think of our, of our, our lives. People are there the whole time. Some we even live with. The author gave a little phrase to what she did. She said, she called her life, or at least the pandemic time, a walking tour, a walking tour of sorts. And we could look at it the same way as we journey through life. It's a walking tour in which we encounter God in the people we meet along the way. And if we do it right, they seem also to encounter the Lord, to encounter our God in us. And we pray in these encounters that they come to know healing and comfort and encouragement and grace and so much more, and so much more. So, so uh, this weekend I would suggest to you that we enjoy the walking tour of life, that we enjoy it as a person, that we enjoy it as a family, that we enjoy it as a church community, as we continue to experience God's grace, God's peace, God's wisdom, God's insight in and through one another, the sons and daughters of God that we all meet along the way, along our walking tour of life.